Tyler here with GP Knives, and we are back with our top EDC picks under $100. Let's jump right in. So starting off with our smallest of our EDC picks under 100, we've got the Spyderco Dragonfly. This is one of the Seki City Japan models from Spyderco, and it is gonna share the family line with the Delica and Endura. We've got it in the Warncliffe blade here, and it has a blade of VG10 stainless steel, a nice working steel for daily carry, and a full height flat grind for good slicing performance. Black bi-directional textured FRN for a lightweight and durable handle that gives plenty of traction. Mid back lock and reversible stainless steel deep carry clip, making this a fully ambidextrous knife. And given the size of the blade, this is going to be great for carry in urban areas or areas where blade length is restricted. We've also got a full finger choil and jimped thumb ramp, so you get great control. And the exacto like blade of the Warncliffe makes for great precision cuts, and the fine tip is great for precision as well. Set this guy down here and jump over to our next pick. This is the SOG Terminus XR. A great value line option from SOG. Got a D2 tool steel blade with thumb stud opening. The ambidextrous XR lock. This one has red G10 for the handle scales over thick steel liners. And the scales do have some traction. We've got a reversible, very deep carry clip. So you can see it actually comes past the end of the handle here. So a very discreet carry there. And then a nice smooth operation on bearings with three deployment options. We have the thumb studs, the flipper, and then the XR lock itself. So great, relatively compact EDC with a straightforward design. And this one is gonna come in at $54.95. And I did not mention it before, but the Dragonfly comes in right at $70. And number three, one of my favorite EDCs is the Viper Knives Dan. And this is the Dan 1 in the drop point profile. We've got a blade of N690 stainless steel with a nearly full height flat grind, a nice satin finish for a stylish look, as well as a crowned spine that is common on Italian made folders. The handles are contoured burgundy micarta and contoured handles are something you don't find too often on a folder, so this is a great premium upgrade on this design. We've got a partial backspacer here with in-mounted deep carry stainless steel pocket clip, and with the clip and tang opening, does make it both left and right hand friendly. And it's a detent slip joint, so as you can see, it is non-locking does have that half stop for a bit of added safety, but that is also gonna make this a more compliant knife in more restricted areas. So great all around user, and this one comes in at 94.50. Next up we have a new rendition of a popular Boker design. This is the Boker Burnley Quiken Air Mini. So the Quiken has been made in quite a few variations, this being one of the newest. The Mini is a little smaller, and the Air versions are a little bit slimmer compared to the original. Otherwise, you're looking at a similar construction. We've got VG10 stainless steel for the blade, and this one has a nice hand-rubbed satin finish on there. Very classy look. Very slim and lightweight, so these are gonna carry well. We've got a full stainless liner construction, with black G10 overlays on this one, deep carry stainless steel pocket clip, and this one is just gonna be set up for right hand carry. Liner lock mechanism, ball bearing pivot, and a snappy flipper deployment there. So 
very gentlemanly design that's still going to be capable for a lot of daily carry tasks. And this one is coming in right at $74.96. And moving on to a mid-size EDC, we have the Kaiser Knives Pelican Mini. So a bit more tactical in design here. We've got a harpoon style blade and black canvas micarta with inlaid stainless steel liners. Again, we've got an N690 blade, same as the Viper Dan. So great stainless steel for daily carry and use. Gonna be similar to VG10. Good corrosion resistance and edge retention on these. This one has a stonewashed black finish and you can see that here, nice discreet and non-reflective. Blade rides on a ball bearing pivot for smooth operation and deploys via dual thumb studs there. It is a inset liner lock here and does only have the right hand tip up deep carry clip. So more of a right hand user knife but it can be operated left-handed as well and just carried on the right. So great mid-range price on this, especially with the canvas micarta and the stylish design. And this one is gonna come in at 72 even. And next up, we've got a US offering under 100. This is a classic from Kershaw. We've got the Speed Safe Assist Kershaw Blur. This one in the Premium Steel S30V. And this one's gonna come in right under 100 at $90.95. The S30V blade has a nearly full height flat grind with a stonewash finish in that classic Kin Onion recurve. Dual thumb studs for deployment there. Aircraft grade aluminum with black traction inserts for the handle and just a great lightweight ergonomic design that has been in the Kershaw lineup for a long time. Great user knife. The standard blades come in 14C 28 inch Sandvik and those are gonna have a little lower edge retention but a lower price to go along with those as well. And this one has a reversible clip for right hand tip up or tip down carry and inset stainless steel liner lock. And again, this is a speed safe assist with a nice snappy assist deployment there. And another mid-size knife, we have the Steel Will Sargus. This is a more tactical inspiration with the upswept blade and down curved handle. A little thicker blade stock on here with a D2 tool steel blade. This one has another black stonewash finish for discrete carry and use. You can see it has traction milled G10 handles over steel liners in an open back construction. And this one is another steel liner lock with ball bearing pivot flipper deployment. So a nice snappy deployment there. And this one is actually set up for ambidextrous carry and use. So we've got the flipper deployment and a reversible deep carry pocket clip there. So great for left or right handed users. And the Sargus is gonna come in at 55.24. And next up we have another US offering, a great design from Kershaw. This is the bare knuckle. We've got a blade of 14C 28 in. This is a great hard use steel very tough and corrosion resistant with good edge retention. And Kershaw has been using this steel for a long time, so they really have a great heat treat on this as well. We got anodized aluminum handle scales for lightweight durability. And on the back here, we have Kershaw's sub frame lock. So this is a patented design by Kershaw and this blends the liner lock and frame lock with the frame lock construction being mounted on the inside of the frame. So it gives you the similar operation, but with the lightweight construction of a liner lock. You've got a KVT ball bearing pivot flipper for deployment. So bearings in the pivot and a nice snappy flipper deployment there. 
And this one again is gonna be ambidextrous with a reversible deep carry clip and left or right hand deployment. And this one, while being relatively long, is fairly slim and lightweight in the pocket, so it's gonna carry very well. This is also currently on sale. Normally these go for $78.95. Right now this is $67.25. Next up, we've got another liner lock flipper in the Civivi Praxis. This is an older design from Civivi, but a great value for the size of knife that you're getting here. 9CR18 MOV for the blade steel. Civivi does a great job heat treating this to a high hardness, so you get solid performance. We've got G10 over stainless steel skeletonized liners to help reduce the overall weight. This one has a stonewashed black finish as well with OD green G10. You can see it's got a reversible deep carry clip, making it another ambidextrous option. And it's just a great full-sized, relatively lightweight knife for daily carry. This one normally comes in at $42.50. Right now is on sale for $37.50. So Again, great value for the amount of knife that you're getting there. And last but not least, we have a Spyderco, the Spyderco Resilience, part of their value line. The Resilience is probably one of the best values for the size. We've got quite a large knife here. Blade steel is 8CR13 MOV, so good corrosion resistance with moderate edge retention and good sharpening response, takes a great edge. Black bi-directional textured FRN with stainless steel skeletonized liners. And we've got a four position clip. So again, this is a great option for left or right-handed users. Very smooth operation on phosphor bronze washers. And this knife comes in at 5810. So again, just a great value for the amount of knife that you're getting there. If the resilience is a little too large for you, the Spyderco Tenacious, part of the same family there, a little bit more in the mid-size range, as you can see here, similar to the Kershaw Blur, and this one is gonna come in at $49 even. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives, and our top picks for everyday carry under $100. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.